And so I'm hoping to learn more about us now. So yeah, I'm going to present to you Plasma Browser Integration, which is a project that I've been working on for the past four and a half months, uh, years actually. And it's a browser extension for a browser that provides better integration with Plasma, like the name says. So let's just go through some of the features. So what it actually does, which is my favorite, it extracts video and audio players from the website and exports them via Empress. And then if you watch a video in your browser or stream some music, it behaves as if it was a real music player, including KD Connect integration. So it always freaks me out when you're watching a YouTube video full screen and then suddenly pauses just to find your phone starting to ring. And what <laughs> I know what some people uh, keep asking about. Can you add support for this website? Can you add support for Spotify? Can you add support for this? That's not the scope of this extension. It should not have any site-specific code in there. If a website wants to... There's actually an API called Media Sessions API, which Google introduced recently, which allows a website to actually provide callbacks for next track, previous track, and export album cover and, and, and stuff like that. Hardly anyone uses it yet, but once websites start to use it, you will actually get that album cover and other information in there. Then the other one is KD Connect integration. You can send links to your phone, because right now you can like share a website on your phone to your computer, but now with Plasma Browser integration, you can also do it the other way around. If you start reading an article, then you can just send it to your phone and continue reading there. Then also downloads in the notification area, makes it feel like you're copying a regular file. And then you can also find open browser tabs through KRAN, just like you can find open windows. And then actually, um, may we create some infrastructure for that, so you can have a DBus, uh, a KRAN using DBus, so you can have out of process runners. David Edmondson is going to talk a bit more about this, uh, I think, this afternoon. And that actually allows us to move like crash-prone runners out of process. And that's actually spawned by this project. So supported browser, actually, all of the major ones. It, it has support for Firefox, for all the Chromium-based ones, Google Chrome, Chromium, Opera. Although it works on Opera, there's no one taking care of it yet. So feel free, if there's any Opera user here, hit me up, then we can uh, maybe find a solution for that. It also works on uh, Vivaldi. That's also a question I get asked a lot, what about Falcon, the KDE project browser? Actually, it's, I mean, Falcon is a KDE project, it uses Qt, so it can just use the KDE APIs directly. Like, it, I just use KJob for the donor progress, Falcon might just do the same internally without having to have a proxy in between. So the only part I can think of that would make sense for Falcon is sharing the media controller extraction mode, which is kind of super convoluted JavaScript injecting things, but yeah, Falcon is not really the scope of Plasma Browser integration. So how does it actually work? So this graph, I put up all my open office arrow skills, and you have, like, at the top left, you have the kd.org website, or whatever website you're currently looking at. Then there's a content script that's basically um, a script that is injected into the website and can access the website's DOM and variables there. And that actually basically just runs query selector all and finds all the audio and video tags and does some other special things. That then sends it over to the extension script, which is the actual browser extension, which can then use browser APIs to get download progress, to add context menu entries and whatever. And then the browser basically sends it over. The browser sends it over to a separate binary, the host, which is, um, they communicate by JSON using a thing called native messaging. And the host is then a, basically a binary installed in the system, which can do basically anything. So it does the debug stuff for Empress, it uses KJOP for download progress, talks to KRunner, and talks to KDPLAY all via, um, via debug. So, Outlook. Um, not to be confused with emails, we have the two upcoming features for some future release is support for multiple players, so that if you close the tab right now it just stops controlling and this way you can basically listen to music, start a video, close the video and it continues controlling your music. And then that's a list of features that also came up which are not that easy to implement because you cannot 
relate a window you get from the extension to an actual window on your window system. So I can't like add X properties in the browser window for activities or find out like what browser window the user is currently using to ex uh, to share the URL using the picture thing. So that's and that's where you can get it. Thank you.